Hey folks, welcome back to another video where I put companies into big, big trouble. And today it's about the Oxford Inflator. It's a sonic enhancer exciter plugin. Elevate your mix to unparalleled heights, experience clarity and power like never before. And someone on Patreon sent me a link and asked if I could replicate this inside of Bitwig Studio and I said yes. And he also sent me a link to this video here called Oxford Inflator Rant. And it turns out the Oxford Inflator is actually just a soft clipper with a sign that falls back here to zero. And if you switch on clip, then it's a clipper. So it's more or less like just a soft clipper or a saturator. So what I did is I tried to uh, copy or clone this curve as close as possible. So I have here this track in the background I want to use as a demonstration. So let's listen to this. A ship that's out to sea, you feel like home to me. So we have a bass in there, drone sound, a piano here, also some vocals. So on the master here, I used um, Oxford Inflator Native, which is just a trial version of this plugin. And by the way, there's no resizing in the year 2024 uh, for some reason. And we switch off clip. We don't want to use this here. And then we bring in the effect, which is just a mix knob. The input is zero, output is zero, curve is zero. And then we play around with this, okay? A ship that's out to sea, you feel like home to me. Okay, so now that we have this, uh, we can put this here into an FX layer and on the second layer we use my, um, my preset called Bitwig Inflator. And we also use here the curve of plus 50 and effect is 100%, input is zero, output is zero. And we use now a tool here at the end and just flip the polarity. You can see it's almost cancel the original out. Okay, we can also go here to a different position, maybe this here, curve 25, and then go here. It's also around 25. There is a small difference, so it's not completely null. Um, there's a small difference, but you never know what these plugins do. Maybe there's a small phase shift in there, or maybe additional um, clipper at the end, or maybe a delay or anti-aliasing or something like this, right? But I try to really nail down here this um, curve. As you can see here, it falls back then. Um, when it comes close here to 0 dB, it falls back. Also, when you switch on clip 0 dB, you switch here to the second curve, which is then a clipper at the top. So it doesn't fold back. Um, that's this feature here. Um, another thing I didn't implement was this band split because I saw this band splitter here is actually a three band splitter. You can see this here. The band split function is offered as an additional mode. When band splitting is selected, the processing is split into three frequency bands. The problem is that this, uh, this band splitter here is completely zero phase. So there's no, um, um, yeah, phase shift at the crossover and that's not possible with the FX3 inside of Bitwig Studio. You can use here the frequency split of Bitwig. This is completely spectral based. And then you have a four band split here and then put this inflator into each of these boxes if you want to kind of replicate this natively in, inside of Bitwig Studio. Um, you can also use the FX3 if you want to and then put this in these boxes here. But then here this FX3 uh, has some phase shifts at the crossover frequencies. So that's what you need to know. 
Um, so I didn't replicate the band split here, but the rest is more or less 99% the same. So like I said, this is interesting for people that want to switch from Windows to Linux or maybe just want to use the same effect, but without iLog. Um, for these people, it's probably uh, useful. If you are just after the effect and you don't know how the Oxford inflator works or you, you are not interested in how this device specifically works, you can also just use the FX um, uh, no, filter plus device, use the transfer here and then use the um, uh, bipolar option or unipolar option here and then just raise this up or raise this down. This is curve minus 50, this is curve plus 50, roughly. It's not the same, but roughly the same. It's a soft clipper more or less. Or you switch it to push or push and then you bring this up. You can see it's also a nice soft clipper there. Maybe switch the anti-aliasing off. I don't know. Or you can use the good old uh, saturator here with a soft knee gives you roughly the same thing what the inflator does. It's not the same sound, of course, uh, but it's the same idea um, to introduce overtones. So this is what you can do. Uh, my preset here, uh, like I said, is completely free. The link is in the description below, so you can download it for Bitwig Studio 5.2. And um, yeah, that's about it, I think. Um, let me disable this here, put this here, bam, and then we have a nice soft clipper here. Loving you is so easy. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a subscription. See you in the next video. And you, if you have some recommendations what I should replicate next, please let me know. Okay, thanks for watching and bye.